Hello, Metro 4, and I'm back on Fallout 4. So this is my single player world, just like last time when I showed you the Wasteland Workshop, like arena thing. It's over there, don't worry about it. <laughs> I didn't tear it down yet. And I built something else cool. Yeah. So this one is probably my favorite, uh, I don't know. I've, the Far Harbor was pretty good, but this is probably my favorite, definitely my favorite like settlement building. This is what's amazing, the stuff that they've added. And I've kind of utilized some of it and I'll show it off to you guys. So I built my first idea. I don't want to turn on. Oop. I'm slowly turning. My first idea for this build was I wanted to make a garage that was kind of retrofitted into like a warehouse type thing. So it'd give me a reason to uh, put my armor, my power armor like displays, the new cool displays they have. And uh, to have some of the the new crafter thingamajiggers power like the, uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what are they called? Hold on. I can't think what they're called for a second. Uh, where the heck are those things at? They're over here. Do, 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 do. Malfunction. Conveyor belts. Gotcha. I figured it out. <laughs> the new conveyor belts. So I wanted to kind of do like a multi-purpose. So I, what the, the way I built it is I built like a garage that was repurposed into a warehouse that I took over and made like a little clubhouse. That's, that's the idea of it. So let's go check it out and I'll show you. It's right over here. It's uh, pretty conveniently located. I did have a wall that went across and kind of separated this into like a gate. Tore that sucker down. You don't need it. You don't need it. I got plenty of defense over here. No one's coming in. I got my robot protecting. But I'm not doing a tour of all that. I'm showing you this right here, which is so cool. It definitely looks like a warehouse. Uh, the garage door you got right there. That's the big reveal. I was hoping it'd get a little darker. <laughs> but I want to show you. So we'll open the door here. And when you open the garage door, that's where I keep my power armor. So it's, uh, oh, it's all too much. You've seen too much. And let's just flip that right there. And then you just pop that puppy open. Oh, that's so cool. Yes, yes. I'm still happy with it. <laughs> Some of the coolest power armor I have. The X01, uh, Brotherhood, of course. And then the, the Vim. The Vim from the Far Harbor. And then I was going to do another color, but meh, the red looks too good. So there we go. That is the, the beginning tour. So it kind of looks like what I built right here. This is kind of like the, uh, do you know when you see, when I watch Fast and the Furious, because that's where I get all my car knowledge. <laughs> they have like these lifter upper thingies that lift your car up so they can work underneath. So I kind of built like a weird version of that. That's like all broken down. Uh, this one you can walk on, which is kind of cool. Has like some wooden platforms. Like they drive their car, like these would be all the way on the ground and they drive it up and it would lift the car or whatever because if you've seen cars in this game they're like super tiny i don't understand so i guess one could fit on here and then just drive them on out all right let's keep a look at uh, just to look around here i love those little uh those little lights uh string lights those are sweet and we have some lights up top here it's very bright in here i was hoping it's getting starting to get dark so that's pretty cool we'll take a look outside when uh it gets a little darker so when you first come in you see that there's a nice little door over here this is the oh god there's a plant stick at throw i didn't i didn't track this and then there's like a little waiting room you know it's like waiting for your car to get fixed you gotta go to the bathroom gotta go to the bathroom while you're waiting and you have a it's very nice in here actually i, <laughs> I wish you could make things like that aren't like all rusty and broken and stuff because this is a this probably is like pristine as you can get it's very bright you have your little toilet separators so no one can watch you take a poo <laughs> I'm invisible. <laughs> you can still see the legs stick out, I suppose. But uh, there's no mirrors, so I kind of took these new posters that they did, and I kind of fit with the theme, like, what would be at, like, a gas station or, like, a mechanic shop. So they got cigarettes here, and then you have, like, good old-fashioned American baseball. You can activate them? Ah, oh, it shuts them off. That's cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. And there's no urinals, so you got the old trough situation here. <laughs> this is not for taking baths, trust me. <laughs> And that's pretty much it in here. This is the bathroom. Got some magazines you can read while you're watching someone through the giant hole in the door. <laughs> Not a lot of privacy. Let's close that up. Also, there was a cool, like a very comfortable couch. Like if you're waiting in a waiting room, I was gonna put some very uncomfortable chairs, but you can read the newspaper while you're there. There we go. Okay, let's go to the next room. Actually, it's pretty dark out. Let's go outside. I want to show you what the lights look like. It's pretty cool. Look at that. It just lights up so much. My old man taught me that duct tape Sturgis. anything. Excuse me. I don't think he was talking about bullets. Yeah, no, you love duct tape. That's cool. The lights on these things are pretty sweet. If you see here, I actually put two uh the new 
uh, concrete platforms down and I just got, used like two roofs to slant it up. It's actually, you get the old carpet trick, they say. It's pretty useful. Actually, I used a pole trick. That's, uh, that's a new fancy trick. Those poles that are in there, then go in the ground so you can use the roofs like uh, ramps. Very useful. You have your open sign. It's very uh, cute. All right, let's head inside, no smoking. And then we'll go into the, the factory part. Like where they're making car parts, I would imagine, or something like that. Very, uh, a lot of little bits and pieces in here laying on the tables. Wrenches and such. <laughs> I know a lot about cars. I'm pretty sure I could fix a car with that, the materials given to me. I didn't have a hammer for some... Is there hammers in Fallout? I'm not even sure. I'm pretty sure those screwdrivers, I must have used them all for scrapping. For those scrappings. Uh, we have a weapon forge and an ammunition. So you're not going to be fixing cars with any of that stuff. But I thought that was the two coolest ones. They're not hooked up to power, but we have power nearby that we can hook them up to. I'm probably, I'll probably use the ammo one for sure. But I have so much ammo. I'm living off water right now, okay? That's where I get all my money. <laughs> I can just go buy ammo. I'm, sw I'm literally swimming in water. So we have a closet in here. You know, every closet has to have a broom. I could not find a bucket. I must have lost them. And just a little working out, you know? Close the door, get some pumps in. Those filing cabinets. All right, that's about it. That's a closet. <laughs> Nothing too complicated about a closet. America, right there. The colonies, they say. Just a little claustrophobic uh, part right here. I want to make it into a slash storage area. Um, like paperwork and such. <laughs> This is a garage, so you have to have a ton of the toolboxes and stuff. Just random old chests. I'll probably store garbage in them, you know. I keep everything in my workshop, so I don't have to worry about it. This is actually really cool. So there's no way into my little... Oh, that's a spoiler. Don't look at that. Um, there's no way into the little hangout area unless you go through all this rigmarole, all this jazz up here. So it's actually kind of secluded. So when you, like, you're looting through, like, an old factory stuff and Fallout, you always notice you have to... It kind of guides you into a path of having to... You can't just cut right straight to the loot, you know? So it kind of cuts you, you have to go through like a winding path and stuff. It's actually a really nice look down at the the floor down there. I, this is really bare. I want to put some like carpet down, but it's like a garage. What's going to be on the floor of a garage besides like grease? Also, I didn't show you that there's grating on the floor. I did that on purpose. It's so, like the, the grease would go down and disappear through some hole. <laughs> I imagine that's what garages do, right? <laughs> All right, so we have this is the final hangout slash loot room of this base. Actually, I really like this upstairs where there's like uh, the string lights everywhere. That's pretty cool. Ha Nick, what do you think? Big fan? You like garages? We could throw you on one of those tables, work on you. I bet he'd like it. All right, let's open this door. And if you can see, we have the one of the mannequins, the armor thingies. Put a the good old mechanist one on there. There's these light up cool posters instead of like the giant ones downstairs. And some Nuka Cola. That's pretty cool. Oh, Nick's talking. Hello. work. Hard to not let it get. He's being all depressed. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we have the Brotherhood poster enlist. That's pretty cool. And a couch and a table. Pretty standard. I'm kind of nervous. Oh, this is actually probably the coolest part. These weapon racks. A minigun looks probably the coolest on that, doesn't it? That's so cool. But I put like a uh, Gatling laser on there. doesn't look as cool. I was thinking put maybe if you can put... I don't know if you can put any gun on it. Because it does change size a little bit. Because I noticed it, it adjusted. So it's not like you have a tiny gun floating in the middle. Uh, I was wondering if you could put like a uh, Gragonorox axe or whatever that guy's name is. <laughs> That'd be kind of neat. I was going to actually put it in here, but I'm not... 100% confident that it's not just going to fall through a despawn. So I put my alien pistol in here, but I got really nervous, so I was like, nope, 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 not going to do it. If I lose a minigun, I literally have eight of them. I'm fine. <laughs> but it's cool that they open up. I bet, I think this was like a thing in Skyrim, I heard. I don't trust them. I, I just imagine anything I place on a surface is going to fall through the, the entire foundation and disappear in a matter of days. So that is uh, that's a gamble you take in old Fallout 4. Uh, we have the, the desk over here. There's something in that desk. What's in there? Just trying to figure out how to sit down. Bottle caps? Who did that? That wasn't me. Uh, there's a cool table over there. I like how it's just like a, it's like a frame. It's lit up. Ceiling fan. That's probably, that's about it. We got our hook up here for a terminal so we can yell at the people and shut everything down. He's working on himself. Don't worry about him. So that's it. That was my workshop slash garage slash warehouse. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not 100% what it is, but it's pretty neat. And I hope you enjoyed some little building tips here and there. I really like the new roofs and stuff. I did, uh... I, it looks a lot like a warehouse from like this side, and then it kind of looks more like a garage from this side. <laughs> uh, it's better than building two buildings. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm Edge for four. Comment, like, subscribe if you want to. Thank you for watching, and bye. Say bye, Nick. He's the silent type. All right, bye. <laughs>